can I ask you this question? So the question in relation to uh, Jimmy Henchman and as it relates to that situation. Yeah. Do you think that Jimmy Henchman was ultimately behind the shooting of Tupac Shakur, your cousin? I never, I never, I don't know who Jimmy, I, at that time, uh -huh. I didn't know who Jimmy Henchman was. I never heard of him in the 80s. I, this, so, so because Tut and Jack, Haitian Jack, these are guys I knew in the 80s, during the 80s. Okay. Right? Okay. During the 80s. I didn't know Jimmy Henchman. I never heard of him. I know he was around, though. Right. Because he was part of it. He, he was with them. He was okay. down with them. Like, they was all clicked up in some way, shape, or form. You know what I'm saying? Okay. But I had never heard of him. So, Jimmy Henchman was a new name to me. Like, I didn't know who he was. I can't really speak too much about him. About him, right? His, his name and identity never came up to me never until came. Pac mentioned his name. And when Pac mentioned his name, I told him I don't know him. You know uh -huh. Yeah, because actually you was in jail at that particular time. So. Was, right. I was in jail and I, the name wasn't familiar to me Fami okay. from, from any time. Like, because what he was what he was trying to convey to me was like they was all together. Hen uh, 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 henchmen, uh, Tut and uh, Haitian Jack probably all came from the same hood or whatever. They knew each other. Who was trying to convince you of that? Pop. Pac was trying to convince you right. that all that, that, okay. He's trying to figure out what happened. Okay, so this is Pac's thing. It was Haitian Jack that got Jimmy Henchman to get Tut to shoot me or some shit like that. Some okay. variation of that kind of shit. Right. right. So that's how he's looking at it. Right. right. And when he when he when he talks to me about it and he mentions uh Jimmy Henchman, I don't know who he is. So I, there's nothing too much I can say about it. Right. Well, so and then that that's important because was Tupac did he have any kind of disenchantment? Because the rumor was, and I'm sure you probably could clear this up, the rumor was that he had disenchantment with Jimmy Ch Jimmy Henchman in regards to him wanting to be his manager. And Pac was like, no, because he said that uh, Jimmy Henchman basically was extorting Puffy. And they were trying to come at Pac the same kind of way and wanting to be his manager or something like that. That was the information that I got. And they had words prior to that. Mm -hmm. And it was supposedly that Tupac said something disrespectful to Jimmy Henchman. That could be true. Yeah. I heard it a different way. I heard something similar to that as it applied to Jack. Okay. It wasn't that Jack was, uh, Jack might have wanted to manage Pop. Right. That's, that part could be true because okay. Jack was strong in the game at that time, okay. although I didn't know it at that time. Uh, right. You know, I just knew him. I didn't even remember where I knew him from at that time. Right. Right. But uh, that could be true. I, I don't I don't have any information, any information on that. On I can't that. confirm more than okay. that. You know what I mean? Now I appreciate that. Yeah. Thank you. Is it any truth to the rumor uh involving what Tupac had mentioned uh on the Machiavelli album and him saying that uh Haitian Jack had set him up, implying that? Is it any truth to that from your understanding? I when when it first happened, mm -hmm. we thought that Haitian Jack set him up, no doubt. You know what I'm saying? Because it all made sense. You know, him and Jack fell out. I wasn't there when him and Jack fell out, but eventually it fell out. He told me why they fell out, though. Pac told, uh, me Pac told you? Yeah. Well, and why did they fall out? He said that, first of all, he started losing respect for Jack. First of all, he started losing respect for him. And I thought that he was crazy for losing. I thought it was... Not, I thought I didn't think it was crazy. I thought that he was uh, underestimating. You know, he didn't know enough about Jack to start losing respect for him. Right, because what what comes with that is now he's not mistreating Jack, but he's not showing him respect. You feel me? Yes. And um, I thought Pac that was a bad move when he started because I I began. That's this is now now I realized I remember where I. I I know Jack from. Okay. So now I know his I know his history, I know his background, and everything. Okay. And I'm telling Pop, you know, you just don't you don't deal with people that way. Right. Those kind of people you don't deal with. You don't blow way. him off. Yeah, you don't just blow him off. You 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 know, you you treat him with respect and you separate yourself with him at the same time. There's a way to do it. It can be done. There's a, a way to do it. Spoon. Yeah, exactly. Right, you right, know what I'm saying? Right. You just stop hanging with him and you but you don't dis like when he comes around, he speaks to you or whatever, or you don't talk greasy behind his back. You don't, you know. And I tried to explain that to him. And I was a lot of, you know, people in my family, they might think differently, 
about how I was dealing with Pac about that. Mm -hmm. But I was dealing with him about that based on the code that I grew up on. You did? And the understanding that and you had. understanding that I had from right. a street perspective, not from no other perspective. Right. Not you know my cousin's a celebrity. Nah, none of He's that. He's a rapper. I'm a street dude, right. too. Right. You know what absolutely. I'm saying? Absolutely. And that's how I would deal with Jack. You dig? Right. I was not going to just blow him off and just talk crazy about him behind his back. Right. Talk, Pac talk crazy about him behind his back from what I understand. Right. And, that, and, that's, and he kind of told me he did. You know, he did an interview. Uh, at a club, and he was with Madonna. Okay. And uh, and he said something about Jack, something to the effect that he don't mess with him anymore. I said something, something else that wasn't, that could have been taken as disrespect. Right? Disrespect, right. But, uh, so when, when he got ambushed, that's what we thought immediately. Right. That was the first thought Jack said. That Jack had sent the word. Yeah, Jack sent say, the you word. Know, absolutely yeah. right. Oh, wow. But as time goes by, as time here, uh, you know, in hindsight, we know that that's not true. Okay. Right? Like, I believe, I really believe Jack didn't set him up because, number one, I believe what, he, what his explanation was, was that there's people around me who... This is Hayes and Jack's explanation. Yeah. Okay. I'm not quoting them. I'm just paraphrasing. Right, just paraphrasing. Yeah, yeah. And there's a video of it. You can pull it up. He probably Absolutely. said it somewhere. Yeah, yeah. On Vlad. I don't know. But uh, that uh, there were people, people around, that, him. around him that respected him right. that didn't like how Pac was disrespecting him. Okay. Put it that way. I don't and know. they acted unilaterally. Unilaterally, yeah. Without they acted, his consent involving that. Right. And, and did, okay. right. right. They acted on their own. They acted as lone wolves. Right. You know what I'm okay. saying? To defend his honor. Put it that way. Right, right. Now, I can believe that. Right. You know, I can believe that. But also, I have, uh, I believe that it's, it's some, I can believe that and I can believe what Pac said. But I really believe that it's somewhere lies in the middle. The truth somewhere lies, lies in, in the middle. middle. Right. I believe that that could have had a role, like uh, the lone wolf right. uh, theory. Right. That could play a role in it. But right. I also think that there was real disenchantment Jack or a henchman. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Had a role yeah. in that shit too. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? And it's not like they hands just like now nah, fuck that. They had a role in that. You know mm -hmm. when 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 when. They, when Pac gets to the studio and them niggas is there waiting for him, and I know, like, so I don't know henchmen, but I know Tut and Jack, they know each other. Right. That's not a coincidence. That's not a coincidence. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That's right. not a coincidence, you know? So, yeah, my theory, I don't know exactly what happened, right. but my own theory about right, that right. shit is that it lies in the middle. Yeah, that could be true about the lone wolf, but nah, nigga, you had something to do with that. Right. You know what I'm saying? Your, your hands is not completely clean with right. that. It, it put it this way even if your hands just clean with it you could have prevented it right you know what i'm saying right. you could have said something to somebody he might not he might didn't sanction it but, but he you could have yeah. made sure that right. nothing like that would have happened to the god you Absol know what i'm saying because my man wa walked into a a, a, a ambush yes. right yeah you know yo dig he walked into an ambush in midtown like on 47th street and broadway right you know, you don't walk into an ambush on 47th Street and Broadway. Right. That's a tourist area. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? And there's always detectives in there. That's where I hustle at. Right. You know, that's my playground. So basically, what you're saying is that had to be something personal. Of course. Not only personal, but set up. Right. Okay. It was prearranged. Right. Okay. Because that's my area. When it happened, I was like, nah, I know that that was set up. Because I know, like, like the, the studio where it happened at, mm -hmm. that's where I got knocked at. So okay. It, Three days before. Right, right. <laughs> you know what I'm right, saying? Right. True that. For my parole, that's why I got knocked. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, and I got knocked by detectives. You did? Right. And, that, and they, they live in that area. That's where they at because they're, they're protecting they're tourists. Tourists, right. Absolutely. You understand right, what right. I'm saying? And they there 24 7. So, because as you know, New York is open 24 7. So, you basically saying that was brazen. Not only brazen. was it a Saturday, but it was brazen. Exactly. To, to, to make it happen. And like they had that a pass. Okay. They had a pass to okay. do that. Okay. They had a pass. I'm sure of it. And and somebody like you said when you say, well, King Tut, then you know he wasn't from he wasn't unfamiliar with gunplay like that. Of course not. Right, nah, okay. He was one of the best at it. Right. Yeah. He just beat a case. Right. That's, that's what I'm saying. Detective. Absolutely. That's what I'm saying. So yeah. yeah. Wow. Interesting. It is interesting, man, because that you know that's the backstory. Like like that's the the cultural New York street backstory shit. Right. 
that goes with what happened to Pop. Right. That's just not something that just right. Happened. That's why. That's why we got you here. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's why we got you on all the dialogue. So. You did. 